Hey everyone, my name is Tori and today's video is going to be a get ready with me using new-ish to me products from some from my Ulta haul and some not. <laughs> How's that for a video title? <laughs> um, so I'm going to be using some of the products that I hauled in my last Ulta haul video. I'll link that down below in case you're interested. Um, and then also using a couple other products that I just like can't stop using that I love. So let's go ahead and get started. So I already have my skincare on, so we're prepped and ready to go. Weirdly enough, I've actually been skipping primer lately. I don't know, I just like haven't really, hasn't been my thing lately for some reason. Um, so I'm just gonna go right into foundation. My little sent me a new Stanley cup. Um, yes, I just it just came in the mail yesterday. And she, I just, she's the sweetest, like just as a surprise, like a sweet thing. And I just, <sighs> shout out to her thank you i'm so excited <laughs> look how pretty this pink color is and i've been saying lately that i'm like in my pink era so this has been like this has been the perfect addition for my pink era so i'm very excited to have this <laughs> the foundation that i've been loving the most lately has been again it's this lys triple fix foundation i just i can't stop using it like it's my favorite um i love the the coverage the everything it's just so pretty the finish all of it um, it's long lasting all the things so um, I have mine in the shade LG1 this is the foundation that I have been using the most lately I feel like it gives just the right amount of coverage for every day without being like too heavy and it really does look like skin I'm also trying like a slightly different lighting set up today so let me know what you think I do feel like this lighting makes my skin look not the best <laughs> like it really this is this is better like the setup is better but what I had previously it just made my skin look like every little blemish or red dot or scar or anything you could see like so so clearly and in person like it doesn't look like that like you can see like imperfections on my face but like in the camera it didn't look it doesn't look as as intense on in person as it does on the camera anyway so let me know your thoughts I'm using a damp beauty sponge this is the um, miss is it AOA shop miss a AOA um, pawpaw sponges you get them in like a five pack on Amazon uh, these are awesome and um, they're they're inexpensive you know for a pack of five and I feel like they last a pretty decent amount of time so should you wash them and keep them clean um, and they're really really soft and squishy when they're wet I need to get my hair done like look at that I mean my hair's dirty but like look at that you know <laughs> the last time I got my hair done I think I talked about this in one of my vlogs the um the girl who has been doing my hair since I moved here um, I haven't had any issues like I've my hair's been fine every time that she's done it for some reason this time around she I think left the didn't leave the lightener on long enough on the front part of my hair so it turned orange um, when it was rinsed out, like a really brassy orange, um, very noticeably so. So I went back and she was able to fix some of it, but it still was very apparently orange. Um, so I've been using like a blue toned, like it's so purple, it's blue shampoo to kind of help tone down that brassiness, which has helped a little bit, but it has just made everything look very strange to me. Um, so I'm excited to go get my hair redone, um, get like, get my highlights back and hopefully not have any orange tones this time. Next up, I'm going in with the Rare Beauty Concealer in the shade 110N. I like this concealer. It's not my absolute favorite. The only reason being is because if my under eyes are at all dry, this does not look good under my eyes, um, which is where I use it. I'll use it all, all over my face as well. It's not like my favorite for spot concealing. Um, I prefer it under the eyes but I only prefer it under my eyes when they're not dry and flaky. <laughs> so if you have like really dry under eyes, this is probably not gonna be a great um, concealer for you. It's cause I feel like it really exaggerates dryness. It clings onto patches, that kind of stuff. But if you have like normal to oily skin, I haven't had like any issues whenever my skin is a little more normal. Oh, you know what? This was a new product that I totally forgot that I got in my Ulta haul. This Morphe 2 concealer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just layer it. Kind of looks like I maybe need a little more coverage anyway. So um, what I like about this Morphe 2 concealer, I've used it a couple times. It's very, it's very hydrating, lightweight. Um, I think it's, it's like a really great fit for like a no makeup makeup kind of day. Um, I'm still trying to determine how I like it in comparison to 
the Kosas Revealer Concealer because that is one of my favorite concealers. I feel like they're very similar, but I haven't really, I haven't used this Morphe 2 one long enough to kind of determine if it's, you know, the better or the same. And there's a lot of weird stuff going on with Morphe right now, so I don't know about all that, y'all. Yeah, it's really pretty. In person, it looks a little bit more hydrating, like especially compared to the Rare Beauty Concealer. <laughs> but this Rare Beauty one is just, it just, it's more uh, drying. Like when it dries down, it's a little more matte, I think is probably the correct way to say that. And then with like the Morphe 2, it doesn't fully dry down matte the way that the Rare Beauty one does. So you get a little bit more of that like brighter kind of, not dewy finish, but slightly dewier finish. All right, so next, is, oh, I'm so I'm so excited about this. This is the NARS Cream Bronzer in the shade Laguna One. I'm telling y'all, this stuff is good. It's this is really good. So I was a little nervous about the color, the application, the whole thing, the smell, everything. Um, I'm using an Elf Ultimate Blending Brush. This is the best, best cream product brush that I've ever tried. I use it for literally everything. <laughs> I need to wash it. So I just kind of stipple it in there. And then from there, oh, it's just so easy to apply. So you just put that right on there and it already, it's like blending itself out. I know, oh wait, that doesn't look like it. Okay, it's super easy to blend. And my favorite thing about it is that it looks like my skin. It has like a semi-matte finish. So it doesn't completely dry down to where it's like a flat matte on your face. It just looks like a satin. Yeah, satin finish. Oh, that's so nice. It looks a little crazy. Hold on, let me blend it up. It layers on top of itself really well. I don't notice that it picks up like foundation or moves anything around underneath it. Um, it lasts really well throughout the day. Like this is truly such a good, good product. And I was like not expecting to like it as much as I do. You know, weirdly enough, I think I might like this better than the Rare Beauty bronzing stick and the Wet n Wild bronzing stick, two of my favorites. Well, I say two of my favorites. They're my only two like cream bronzer, other cream bronzers that I have. Uh, but they're like, I think they're fantastic and they blend out so well. Um, they're really comparable to each other. I think it's really just like a matter of preference, really. The, the Rare Beauty one is a little bit more emollient and leaves a slightly more, not dewy finish, but like kind of, maybe a little more of a hydrated looking finish. Whereas the uh, Wet n Wild one dries down a little bit more matte. Um, I love them both though, they're both fantastic. But I will say I prefer this NARS one though. The reason being is it's just ease of application. Honestly, that's all it is. I mean, the finish, all the things are like still great about it, but it's so easy to apply and it's so fast. And I really think it's just because you can like dab your brush in it and go. So easy to blend out and it looks so natural in person. The fragrance is a little noticeable, I will say. So if you're, if you're sensitive to fragrance, that's probably not gonna be one that you vibe with really well. Um, but if fragrance doesn't bother you, it's solid. So I'm going to take a little bit more of this Morphe concealer. Again, mine is in the shade Peak of Pearl. I'm going to just add a little bit down here because I got, I got a little low with that bronzer. <laughs> well, carried away. So just blend that out real quick. This is a Morphe E8. So just like a dome, flat, dense brush. I'm just going to blend that in a little bit just to get rid of any harsh lines and kind of lift the face a little bit. <laughs> so that bronzer doesn't come down as far. I know it's a hefty price tag, and I think it'd be one of those things where like, I wanna be impressed by this to pay this price tag, and I'm like, I, I am. 10 out of 10, y'all. All right, so next thing we've got is, actually, I wanna do a little bit of cream highlight, which like, who is she? I know, like, I'm a cream person now. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I got it in the shade too fair and it's like the little mini size so i got the mini size during i don't know the vib sale maybe the last sale or two sales ago i wanted to i wanted to try it out i didn't want to like commit to the full size right uh, i mean i just don't i don't think that like i don't think i would buy a full size of this you know so okay look so we've got oh my skin looks so nice right now Oh, I love it. I'm just gonna add a little bit on the high points of my face. Again, same e.l.f. brush, 
with bronzer on it. It's fine. I use it for everything. I told y'all. <laughs> so I'm just going to blend that out. And while like that is really, really pretty, I just, I think the biggest part of it is that I just don't really have like a place in my makeup routine for this other than like what I'm doing right now, which is fine. But like, I don't think I want to spend $40 on a full size of one of these if I'm just going to use it as like a cream highlight and then I'm kind of, kind of cover it up with powder, you know, so I'm going to set all this to an extent. So I don't know. I think it just doesn't really have a place in the routine for me. And that's really all it is like pretty product. Like, I don't know. I still don't think I would like wear it all the way underneath makeup. It's just, it's just not really for me, you know, that's okay. So I think what I would like to try though, is the e.l.f. halo, I don't know what it's called. Do y'all know what it's called? The e.l.f. one that's like a dupe of this. I would like to try that because I think with that, it's like, I would feel good about, I could use that all over my face. I think it gives you a little bit of extra, more coverage than this does. I don't know, maybe I can see if that like actually works into my routine before like going into the big daddy here. I just don't think that this is a product for me, for my personal preference. It's pretty, but you know, my face looks like so nice and I'm like so, I'm so frustrated by this lighting because I feel like you can't really see what my skin looks like. It looks really good y'all. <laughs> okay. So moving on, I've got this persona stick blush and this is the blush multi stick in the shade jam. So again, same thing. I got this in my, um, Ulta haul. This is just a gorgeous winter berry shade. Oh, I love this color. So same thing. I'm using the same brush, not, not cleaning it, just going right in. So I'm just going to dab that on the top there. So you can see you get quite a bit of pigment and then I'm going to place it more kind of in this area to keep everything really lifted. This is such a nice formula. I've tried it over powder. And I, I'm still, jury is still out if it's good over powder, to be honest with you. I think that like the way to do it is all cream, all cream first and then powder, like the way we were all taught on YouTube in 2014, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, at least for this product and everything else, it just makes everything look a little bit more natural. Um, I like to take it up onto my brow bone, kind of wrap it all the way around. So it just gives such a pretty kiss of color. Isn't that nice? I love this color. It looks a little intimidating, at least to me, in that stick form, so my skin is so fair, but I think it comes off being very, very wearable um, with a light hand, and it looks very much like the I'm cold trend. It's doing it for me, you know? It's good stuff. Oh, that's really nice. So you can see like that glow from the Charlotte Tilbury is there, which like, it does look nice, okay? It really, it does. But I'm about to powder my under eyes, and then it, I powder over it and it's all a waste, you know? So I don't know. I'm so torn on that one. If you have it, please tell me how you use it. Or like, if you like it, I would love to know. Or if you have the elf one, please let me know how you feel about that one. So I'd really like to try that one. Dab out or pat out these creases from the concealer, just from it sitting there, you know, being wet. I'm going to go in with my little powder puff here. I got these in like a, I don't know, three pack, five pack on Amazon. Same thing that I been using forever. Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I like took a step back from it for a while because I was using this LYS translucent setting powder, which I really like, but um, sometimes just like the OG is just the one that you need, you know, and I've just preferred the look of it lately. So I'm just dabbing into it and then tap, tap it into the lid. It's really to kind of like load the product into the puff. You know what I mean? Then making sure everything's kind of pressed out and go in and press it in that entire area and just set the under eye and then down the side of the nose. Still kind of see that Charlotte Tilbury glow, but it's like, I just, I'm like trying, I'm trying to justify it. I just, I can't, you know, I don't think I can. Who knows? Maybe it'll grow on me. I've never really been much for like eyeshadow primer. So I feel like concealer and then setting it has really been enough for my skin. Setting my chin and my nose and my forehead. Cool. So this has all just come out like to look very natural. It's nice. 
I think I'm gonna be a little crazy and not set the outside of my face. I know, like who is she, you know? The next thing I got in that Ulta haul is the ambient lighting blush from Hourglass in the shade Sublime Flush. Really, really pretty. It's got that like kind of peachy lilac vibe. So I'm gonna take this, this is an It Cosmetics brush, it's like super old. I don't even know what it's called. Like, look how gross the handle is. I've had it for a really long time. I do clean it, but not recently. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna dab into the blush, tap off the excess, and I wanna just very lightly set this part of that cream blush situation that we did. It's mostly just to add a, like a pinch of color and then a little bit of highlight because this blush is like slightly glowy. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, it's really nice. It's just, it looks very natural to me. You know what I mean? I feel like it adds a really nice, subtle glow, little kiss of color. It's really, really pretty everyday blush. And that lilac is not like super intense. It's not like a purple blush, you know? It's like just enough. And I'm gonna take a little bit across the bridge of my nose here. That's nice. I like that color a lot. I'm really happy with this one. Okay, and just for the sake of the video and trying new products, I might, I would maybe, I would maybe leave it like this, but I wanna add a little spice. So I have the Rare Beauty highlight, the new one. I know, I'm so pumped. So this is in the shade Exhilarate, and I initially thought this might be a little too dark for me, but it actually, weirdly enough, works. So this is kind of a goldy champagne color. I almost got the lightest shade, which is, What's it called? In light, it's literally, it looks like a frosty white, like with a touch of champagne. Um, usually that's the color that I would go for, but I felt that it was two things. I feel like it's very similar to a highlight I already have. This is the MAC Double Gleam Highlight in the shade, <laughs> Double Gleam. This is the MAC Extra Diminished Skin Finish Highlight in the shade Double Gleam. I love this one. This one has a little bit more gold and like a vanilla undertone than that, um, than the one from Rare Beauty, the uh, in light shade. So Exhilarate is a little bit darker than Double Gleam, but you kind of see the difference, yeah. So I prefer this undertone. I think the, I think the one from, I think Enlighten, Enlight or Enlighten? I don't know, why am I struggling with this so much? I think the lighter shade of the Rare Beauty highlight would be a little too stark for just my preferences for every day. So I think this one works really well with a light hand. I like to go with the Morphe M500 brush. It's just like a very, like not super densely packed so you can kind of like brush it on, you know? So we're just gonna do a little tap, tap, that's it. This is crazy pigmented, yeah? So I'm gonna tap it off even like the excess so there's not a whole lot on the brush there packaging on these two. They're so cute. And they have mirror inside. And I'm just going to lightly dust the high points of the face right here. So right across that cheekbone. Yeah. <laughs> um, so then blending it in, then whatever's left over, I'll take down to the my apples of my cheeks. Just so it gives like, it's a little more subtle, you know? Um, you could definitely like really, really intensify this highlight so nice and like when you're looking head on so I keep looking at myself in this camera so I can see what I'm doing if you look head on <laughs> it doesn't show like the base pigment um, on my skin tone I'm pretty fair so I'm surprised that this works for me honestly so I'm really really excited about this highlight it's so pretty and I feel like it's been a really long time since I've gotten a highlight that I was actually like really excited about you know I also picked up this tickle highlight and that Ulta haul because of Alex Earl um, I follow her on TikTok and she uses this for her nose highlight. Now, girlfriend is extremely tan and I am not. Um, so I know that this is going to be, it's a little, it's a little dark for my skin tone. You know, it is what it is, but I wanted to try it on my nose like she does. So let me get, it's like an eyeshadow brush. I'm just taking an eyeshadow brush. Y'all, I don't know what I'm doing. This is the Morphe M532. We're just, we're just going to go for it. Okay. So I'm going to dip it in kind of lightly tap it off okay okay tip of nose here we go I'm nervous that's cute am I a nose highlight girl now <laughs> okay let's do the bridge of the nose 
and do the same thing, just a little bit more. Dab that off. Down the bridge and then blend it out. That's cute. I mean, I think it's kind of cute, right? What do y'all think? Do we like this? I hope we like this because I, I bought it. So I'm probably gonna keep it. I hope I like it. <laughs> okay, so let's blend it out a little bit more. So I'm taking the, this is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH07. I'm just gonna kind of blend the sides of it so there's no like harsh lines on either side. I think that's nice. I look like kind of like glowy, but not too much. I feel like the skin looks really good. Like really, really good. I'm really like, like loving all these products layered together, which is, a good sign because usually once you start layering products is when everything just like goes haywire you know so moving on to the eyes how am I gonna do I don't think I got any new I didn't I didn't get any new eyeshadow in that like zero dollar Ulta haul but I did get a new eyeshadow palette from Ulta using points is this did I use points twice how did I do this? No, no, I didn't. I got this from Nordstrom on like super sale because they price matched. I think it was on the Anastasi Beverly Hills website. They were doing like a special Black Friday offer. So this was like like deeply discounted. Um, and I had wanted this for a while and I like had my eye on it. And I was like, do I need that? No, but then like <laughs> I found a great deal for it on the Anastasia website and then Nordstrom price match. So then I went ahead and picked it up. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm gonna go in with floor and the the shade right here <laughs> um all in the transition area and then you know i think i want to do i do i want to do it i'm going to use this darker shade right here called metro in the crease and then i'm going to go in with lily so this really pretty like kind of duo trio chrome shimmer all over the lid so we'll start with floor i'm just dab in a little bit it is a little powdery but not as powdery as like I'd say some of their other palettes really just to kind of give the eye a little bit more definition and I'll take a little pencil brush and put the same color on the lower lash line just really hugging the lashes right there and just keeping it nice and kind of blown out from here I'm gonna use a dense little definer brush I don't know what this is called. A denser, like a denser crease brush, maybe? Uh, it's a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH33. I'm gonna go into that darker shade called Metro, just to deepen out that outer corner a little bit. Oh, that's so pretty. I love the tones of this palette too. It's just, they're just like, I don't know, they're kind of soft, they're warm, but not, too warm. I'm going to take that same metro color on the lower lash line, but really focusing the majority of the pigment on the outer half and then blending the rest in towards the inner corner. From there, I'm going to go with my lid shade. So I'm taking that Lily shade on, oh, it's so soft. Like it's so soft to the touch. It almost feels like a cream. Oh, it's so pretty and reflective. So I'm going to put that on the eyelid really focusing it more towards the inner corner, like halfway. So I don't want to take it across the whole lid. Like, is that blue? I don't even know. Oh, there's so many like pretty colors in it that really complement all the other tones in the palette. Look how pretty that is. Oh, it looks so, so pretty. This color is like stunning. So I'm gonna go back in with the original brush that I started with, with that transition shade with no additional product. And I'm just gonna blend that inner portion so don't have any harsh lines. Not to get any fallout from all the eyeshadow. I'm gonna just lightly dust with a fluffy brush. So a little bit of it fell down. I don't know if you can see that, like some of the sparklies right there from that lid shade. Um, kind of comes off, honestly, I don't like, I don't love that, but I also don't like hate it, you know? I think it's kind of pretty, <laughs> but I try to dust off a little bit of that. Sometimes what helps too is if you get another powder. So for example, I've got the NYX HD, what is this? HD finishing powder. This is in the shade Banana. It's kind of lightly stamping that brush into the powder. And sometimes that'll help wipe away anything underneath the eyes. And you can kind of do this with um, 
like beforehand you can put powder under your eyes and it'll kind of help catch some of that um but you can kind of do it after the fact i found that that works for me sometimes a little bit better than just dusting on its own so i'm going to now go in with the mac eye coal in the shade costa riche um, it's a brownish red or reddish brown you know just putting that in the water line I love these MAC eye coals. They're so classic and they're such good products. Next up we've got, let's go ahead and just do liner. So this is the One Size Point Made Bodacious Black Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Pen. <laughs> this is actually the special edition one. They did like a collab with Disney Fantasia, which I thought was really cool. And it's actually on sale now, literally like for $9 um, at Sephora. So if you're interested, now's a great time to try it. This is very quickly become my favorite eyeliner, which is crazy because it's pretty much replaced the Physician's Formula for me. I still love that one, but for some reason I just, this one, maybe it's just because I feel like it's a little bit easier to control and I can get a little bit more precise with it. I think that's why I prefer this one. I should do like a really thin line. I just feel like it defines the eye a little bit more and makes it look a little bit more finished. All right, we got brows. <laughs> Elf brow pencil, always. Shade taupe, I'm just gonna brush the brows up and then fill them in. Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, just setting brows in place. Last up here, we have mascara. So here's the deal. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. We love this one, right? Um, I've been going in with the Benefit Roller Lash on top. And like, I really do like this mascara. I think I've come to the conclusion that this is fine. You know, like the Maybelline Lash Sensational is still great. Um, they're very similar. I still like, maybe, maybe you can get a little bit more out of your roller lash with the formula, but this formula does transfer more than the Maybelline Lash Sensational on me. My eyelashes are really long, so they're constantly touching like the top of my brow bone right here. So I always get transfer with mascara, but I will say that it's more noticeable with the roller lash. I'd say like halfway through the day, I already have like smudging underneath my brow, which like honestly doesn't bother me that much because I'm, I, maybe because I'm just used to it, like it happens anyway, but it does happen faster with roller lash. So there's that. Uh, but for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and use roller lash today because that's what I got in my haul. So we'll start with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This is really gonna give that volume. And then the roller lash is gonna give that length. All right, so there's one coat with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, and then we're gonna add roller lash on top. I don't think I will ever not layer mascara. And just like, look at the difference, you know? Knowing that you can do that, why would I ever not layer, you know? <laughs> I mean, you and you obviously, you don't have to do it with a high end, it can be two drugstore, just I would say two mascaras that are labeled or marketed as doing two different things. So like a lengthening and a volumizing. I would do the volume first and then the length on top. And I just feel like that's how I've always gotten the best results, regardless of brand, like always high end drugstore, everything in between. It's always the layering that does the trick. So with no additional product on this brush, I'm gonna just touch my lower lashes. By touch, I mean like literally, I'm just kind of touching them. <laughs> I don't want them to be like too coated. It's mostly just to kind of give them a little bit of definition um, and bring that color back. Or not back, but like darken them. You know what I mean? So now we're just going to clean up that mascara. I always get little bits everywhere. Oh, I did pretty good this time. So to finish everything off, I'm going to go in with my bougie lip product. This is from Dior and this is the lip maximizer in the shade 012 Rosewood just a 012 but it's the shade Rosewood I actually bought this it was on sale and I got a discount so there's that so I'm not even gonna do lip liner we're just gonna go in I love it because it's so close to my natural lip color you know it looks really glossy without being sticky It's just, it it gives you a little bit of plump, but it doesn't like hurt, you don't really feel it. Um, and it's very unfortunate how much I love this because I will probably buy it again when I run out. I've already used up a full one of these. It was in the shade pink, loved it, amazing. It's like the perfect purse gloss. So then I tried Rosewood, right? And then I also got 
on sale and with a discount, the lip oil. Same thing, it's so overpriced y'all, but like this is so good. It's so, it's one of my favorite lip products of all time. I know, I know. So like when I'm out of this though, I wanna get another one. That's just where I'm at in life. I love those, but I'm gonna be one of those things where it's like I wanna fully finish one up before I get another one. So at least I know that I'm using it, you know, at that price point, but dang y'all, it's a lot. <laughs> Good news is, is they sell it at Ulta now, so you can get, um, you can use a coupon on it now, which is pretty cool. So I might kind of finesse that to get my next color. <laughs> I'm using my Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. I've been using this like forever. Still love it. And there's the finished look. I love it. I love it. It looks good. Let's go back through some of the products and kind of see maybe final thoughts on a few of them. So Rare Beauty Highlight, it's great. It's really good, especially if you are looking for really anything between. It's not super subtle, but it can be a little more subtle ish um, and it can be super super intense you can really build this up really pretty like on the skin in terms of uh, like texture if you're really concerned about maybe texture enhancing highlighters like if you're looking for a more intense highlight and you have maybe more textured skin this actually might be a really good option for you so really love this I really would love to have the shade mesmerize y'all I don't need it but I mm, I want it I want it this NARS cream bronzer is everything it's everything it's so it's so so good like it just in person it looks like my skin it looks like i'm just naturally bronze um the only downfall of it is the fragrance to be honest at least that's just a personal thing so i can't smell it right now you know it's been on for a little bit can't smell it anymore so there's that but it's gorgeous and they have several shades it's so good the formula is fantastic would like 100 percent recommend that one this tickle highlight is surprisingly really cute on my nose <laughs> I don't know if I need like a whole pan of just a nose highlight, so I want to use this in other ways on other parts of my face. So I've actually used this as eyeshadow once and it was really pretty. Um, and then I haven't used it as a blush topper just yet, so that'll be next. And then I love this Hourglass blush in the shade Sublime Flush. It's just so, so nice. It brings so much life to the skin without being too much. It's a really great, just natural, semi-glowy blush. It just, oh, I love it. And layered on top of this Persona Cosmetics uh, blush stick in the shade Jam, it's so pretty. You don't need to layer them. You don't need both, but if you like both, they make a great combo. Um, this, I love this color. This Jam color is just like, it's everything. I wanna work with it a little bit more over top of powders. It does, so far I've just been kinda like, I just prefer it with just all creams, but we'll see. Um, I kind of want to do a little bit more experimenting with that one. And then the Morphe Concealer, Morphe 2 Concealer. Okay, this is so weird. The Morphe 2 Concealer has run away. I don't see it. I feel like it's sitting right in front of me. It has to be, and I just like don't see it. So I'm gonna have to search for that. So the Morphe 2 Concealer though, <laughs> it goes on beautifully. I think I just need to test it a little bit more in terms of like long wear. You know what I mean? So like, what does it look like at the end of the day? Cause it looks great right now, but like, does it look great in like six hours? You know, that's the true test. And then again, you kind of already heard my thoughts on this one. It's, it's the roller lash is good. It's a great mascara. Um, do you need it? No, but it's, it's good. You know, if there were any products from that Ulta haul that I didn't talk about today that you want to hear more about, please let me know in the comments. We'd love to hear some feedback from that. Um, is there anything that you saw today that you loved? I don't know. Did you like this style video? Like, let me know. Um, I think it's really interesting to see people do like follow up hauls or like speed reviews on products that they purchase because I feel like we're really focused on just getting new things and trying new things, but we don't always revisit those things. But, oh, and then last thing, this Anastasia palette. It's good. It's great. I mean, if you vibe with these colors, like formula is great. It's really just a matter of do you like the color story. Um, for me, would I pay full price for it? Knowing myself, probably not just because I try to always finesse the system. Like, you know, if there's a coupon, I'm, I'm going to get a coupon. That's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you like this style video. Um, like get ready with me kind of talking through like applying makeup, that kind of thing. Um, I'd love to do it again. I think it's kind of fun. Let me know what you think of the lighting and let me know what you want to see next. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.